What's good, y'all? Lonnie Appleton here. We are discussing the Surviving R. Kelly Part 3 on Netflix that I recently watched and just this problem in our community. This is going to be a million videos because this, this is too deep. This is an hour-long conversation. This is my TED Talk. So it was just really heartbreaking watching, but I have to remember that these women that were out there protesting in defense of R. Kelly didn't have all the information and it is my sincere hope that now that these women have all of the information they're changing their tune in the past video I said with the information I had at the time yes I listened to a R Kelly song no I'm not buying any more of his new music but do you ever really know he's a writer so he's writing behind the scenes but he can't read so how the hell is he writing music but that's beside the point but aside from listening to one of his songs, I'm just sitting here, what is your attachment to anybody? Like, let's think about this. What is your attachment to anybody that you're willing to get up and leave your home and go stand outside a courthouse and holler free R. Kelly? I get Riley Freeman. Hey man, you do what you gotta do. Why R. Kelly, huh? What did R. Kelly do to you? But the rest of y'all, I don't get it. It's like, is his music that good that you went and you went to Michael's, the craft store, and got all the little puffy paints and made your little sign? Like, this costs you money. It costs you time. You, if you have on your little uh, merch, you know, you are financially invested in a man that is accused of women. That's perplexing to me. And then you're sitting here and you're calling all these women liars like you don't know R. Kelly. You ain't never had a conversation with him. I've seen R. Kelly get in the elevator, so I have a closer relationship to R. Kelly than these just standing outside the courthouse. So as a society, we really have to stop putting these celebrities on pedestals just because they have a super colossal talent that they're being recognized for. Because these celebrities and their talent, there's people out there with equal or greater talent than them, but they're not in the position to be elevated. We elevate them because they say, look at this shiny object. And everybody looks at that shiny object. And that shiny object gets higher and higher and higher. Why? Because we elevate them. So we must stop elevating people. And we must know that just because somebody's good at one thing doesn't mean that everything else is okay. What the hell is wrong with you people? Every famous nigga that gets arrested is not Nelson Mandela? Yes, the government conspires to put a lot of innocent black men in jail on fallacious charges. But R. Kelly is not one of those men. We all know the nigga can sing. But what happened to standards? What happened to bare minimums? You a fan of R. Kelly? You want to help R. Kelly? Then get some counseling for R. Kelly. Introduce him to some older women. Hide his camcorder. But don't pretend like the man is a hero. And stop the damn dancing. Act like you got some goddamn sense, people. Damn.